Hey, happy Friday, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. I'm going to give you the latest update on what's going on with this weather pattern because we have two strong storms coming. Matter of fact, I'm still showing that we have chances for tornadoes for the North Central, the Upper Midwest, also in the South Central as we go into Tuesday. It's not just a Monday event. I will show you. Plus, we have that second storm system coming in. We have a clipper system coming in from Canada. It means it's going to come in real quick, in real quick, and out real quick as we go Thursday into Friday. So we actually have two storm systems coming. I'm going to show you the latest information in this video. Make sure you subscribe. I am all year long with my weather forecast. And make sure you click the bell. Share the information to others. Let other people know exactly what is coming around the corner. Thank you again for your time. Now let's get into your information. And you can see the latest update on the storm reports for yesterday. So we did get that tornado in northern Florida, like I was showing you. And those strong cells that was coming from North Carolina and towards Virginia. I believe we did get a tornado. There is some potential tornado reports. There's a lot of wind damage reports coming with that. I think we did get a tornado on the ground. And that was the two areas. I'm still showing that we have chances also for the North Central, the Upper Midwest by the Great Lakes. Also for the South Central as we go through this next event. Now you can see the latest information on your data, your EPO, your jet stream on the West Coast is going to go into that deep trough for the whole week. Now when you're in a trough on one side, you're going to be on a high ridge on the other, and that's going to bring those warm temperatures, that high pull of all this severe weather we're about to go into. But you can also see when you look at your Arctic oscillation, your cold air anomaly. As we go into next week and we go into the weekend, also for the week after that, we do have cool air coming in. So there's going to be some very cold temperatures and some very cold wind chills that's also going to be coming after we deal with these storms. Now those will bring front induced storms and it's going to keep this severe weather pattern going all the way into next week. And you can see the update this morning. Here's our system right off the west coast and you're starting to get that trough already building. Now this is going to move. All this trough is going to move over towards the southwest and that's going to bring the high ridge from the center of the U.S. from the central plains all the way towards the east coast and kick off our severe weather and you can see this when you look at your vorticity your 500 millibar height as we go into monday afternoon it starts kicking off your severe weather event and it does go into the late afternoon also still overnight storms and into tuesday as well bringing storms with that and chances for severe weather chances for tornadoes damaging winds and large hail also, as this pushes off, we have our clipper coming through, and this is going to bring potential severe weather as we go into Thursday, also for Friday. So here you are for Thursday, and as you go into Friday, as it goes along the East Coast, potentially bringing more severe weather. More outlooks coming from National Weather Service on this second storm, I do believe. You can see this when you look at your winds, your 500 millibar winds. You have it all the way from Monday as it starts bringing in your severe weather, bringing strong winds as well. But you see also for Tuesday, it's also coming in with those winds. And then that clipper system also coming in a little bit for Wednesday, but mostly it's going to be a Thursday event and then kicking off also as it goes through Friday bring in potential severe weather with that as well. You can see your lower level winds right below that. Then as you go into Monday, it starts bringing winds aloft. This will help not only with rotation with height, also with convection with lift. Now that will bring a lot of food for these thunderstorms to grow as you go all night for Monday, overnight for Tuesday, it stays southern. You still could have nocturnal problems. Remember that. Then as you go into the afternoon for Tuesday, look how it raises up over here for the northern part. So I still think we're going to have chances for tornadoes for Tuesday as well. I think it will be ramped up to an enhanced section. I will show you National Weather Service agrees with me today. And I've been saying this for a few days. And then when you get that clipper system coming in for Thursday, not really showing a big, huge event, but you do have winds aloft. It'll help with some lift, some instability. And as you go towards Friday also, still showing chances for severe weather to come out of that also. Maybe more Friday than Thursday, but we do got to watch that second storm also. It's not just one. Now you can see your update when you see your dew points. You get a lot of particulates in the atmosphere as you go through Monday. It raises a lot of dew points all the way to the north. These are going into the high 60s. 
Now you got your classic severe weather setup. You got your storm system digging in. You're getting your dry line right here with your cold front. You're getting your warm front up here. And you got your typical severe weather right here as you go through Monday. This is for Kansas. This is for Oklahoma going into Texas. Then as you go all the way into the evening overnight, still chances for nocturnal the whole time as you go into tuesday it brings all that a little bit further to the north you see as you go from 1 p.m to 4 p.m you still have some very high dew points up here bringing you chances for severe weather before it goes right back down towards the central plains and the south central as you go overnight and for wednesday also then you have that next clipper coming in as you go through thursday bring you chances for severe weather and for friday your dew points are there for all this to crew up for Thursday and Friday also. More Friday than Thursday. But you can see not just the winds aloft, the warm temperatures also. You get a lot of lift as you go through Monday. A lot of cape, a lot of food for these thunderstorms to grow. A lot of instability in the atmosphere. Then as you go later in the evening, it stays in there for Monday. And when you go overnight, look how it's staying strong right here with your lift, your instability, as you get in this upper level low, this surface low, this cyclogenesis still, as you go into Tuesday, and that moves over. And look how it's overnight also for Tuesday. So Tuesday afternoon, you got all this instability, bringing chances for these thunderstorms, chances for tornadoes also. Overnight, also, a lot of lift for overnight storms. And as you go all the way into Thursday, you get that clipper system coming through and it brings some instability. Not a whole bunch to the northern side, but you still have a lot of dew points to the northern side. But look all the way to the south. This could bring storms overnight, also for Thursday and for the east coast as you go through Friday. It does bring instability all the way towards the northeast. So we have two systems. It's not just going to be one. You can see the moisture will be there. When you look at your precipitate water as you go into Monday, bring a lot of strong moisture into the atmosphere. And this is your classic setup. You got your dry line. You got your cold front. You got your warm front. So Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, this is going to be your classic severe weather setup as we go into Monday. And look how it goes overnight also for tuesday it builds over here for the north central for the upper midwest over here, going towards the great lakes bringing your chances for severe weather also and look at it for the south a lot deeper this is going to bring a multi-day event once again and then once you get that second storm also it could be for wednesday on that first storm but a second storm comes in for thursday and friday not a lot of precipitation coming out of thursday but there still is a good bit all the way towards ohio valley and the great lakes and as you go towards Friday, it goes right towards the East Coast as well. This is going to be a all-week event. And then we got cold air coming for the weekend and the week after that. And you can see those storms are still bringing a lot of chances for large hail with them as it comes through Monday evening. Also still overnight storms, nocturnal storms. Also as you go into Tuesday, look how it's bringing all these thunderstorms, all these lightning strikes a lot of chances for large hail as you go through Tuesday afternoon as that goes northern and giving you your risk as well. And then as you go through Wednesday and Thursday, here it is for Thursday, kicking in again with that front on that second system, bringing chances for large hail. And as you go through Friday, a little bit weaker on the hail, but it's still going to be potent for Thursday and Friday. Still showing is going to be bringing anywhere from 40 to 50, even pockets of 60 in there, miles per hour wind gusts as we go Monday through Tuesday, and then Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, not showing a lot of winds on that second system. But showing the first system is going to bring a good bit of rainfall more towards the north central all the way to Thursday, and then that clipper system for Thursday and Friday is going to add up as well and bring more rainfall with that. So here's your cities and states at risk for a Monday for your severe weather. You have the 15% and the 30%, and this is going to grow for Tuesday. And you can see how much bigger it has gotten for Tuesday. A huge wide area for 15%. I still believe we're going to see an enhanced section somewhere towards the South Central and still over here towards Ohio Valley and the Great Lakes. I think we're going to see an enhanced section. So far, this is what you have, and this is your cities and states at risk.
Now, we still have updates to go through. We have to get closer, but you can see a more favorable tornado threat will occur on Tuesday over the mid-Mississippi Valley vicinity. It should stay around the Arklatex region. It will be upgraded potentially to a 30% on day five for Tuesday. This also could be on the northern side from the information I do see. Showing so far that the storms do not meet up really strong for Monday. It's going to be overnight and into Tuesday when everything is really going to start ramping up on the severe weather. And as we go through Tuesday afternoon, it is going to stretch all the way down towards Arkansas as well, but start getting more severe for the north central. Then as we go through Wednesday, this is going to keep pushing to the east. Then we're going to get that clipper system coming in from Canada. This is going to bring our cold front as well, but it's also going to bring severe weather as we go through Thursday and for Friday bringing a strong system potentially all the way towards the east coast and with this cold air coming right behind it. So here's what you can expect. Starting on Saturday, it's going to start raising up all these very warm temperatures, even the 60s going all the way into Canada. As you go into Sunday, it's going to get stronger. Now you're going to get to 80s and the 90s raising up. But once you go into Monday, this is where everything is going to start. You have your severe weather setup of your troughing right here with your high ridge and you have your cold front, your dry line and your warm front raising up bringing a severe weather event going into the high 90s, even over 100 degrees coming up for Texas for Monday. Then as you go through Tuesday, the warm temperatures are going to be there as well and help keep the instability in the atmosphere. And after this, it's going to start getting cold. You can see the cold temperatures are starting to come in from the northwest by Tuesday. Wednesday, you're going to be there again with all these very warm temperatures, but now it's going to start lowering further and further to the south while you have the cooler air moving in from the northwest. And you're going to go outside and feel like you're in the 20s. But this also is going to create our severe weather pattern. The cold air clashing with the warm temperatures is going to bring that cold front of severe weather for Thursday from that clipper system. And now look at your wind chills on Thursday. Now it's really ramping up and a lot of cold wind chills, especially for the higher elevations in the Rocky Mountains for the upper Midwest. But a lot of people are feeling cold on Thursday. Now here's your highs for Thursday. You're still going to be in the high 80s moving up, but this is going to start moving a little bit lower. So as you go into Friday morning, here's your cold temperatures again. Bringing the freezing temperatures on down for the upper Midwest and the Northwest and some negative potential temperatures for the higher elevations in the Rocky Mountains. With your wind chills, it is going to keep the Northwest and the upper Midwest very cold all week. You're going to feel like you're in the teens to the 20s, even the single digits and negative wind chills moving through. Be aware of that. But then here comes Saturday once again. Cold temperatures coming on through. Now it's moving a little bit further towards the south. A lot of people waking up in the 20s and some single digits, possibly some negative temperatures. And once again, the wind chills are just going to be ridiculous. You're going to feel like you're in the teens to the 20s, even negative wind chills in the higher elevations. Please be aware of this. This is moving in all the way from Wednesday all the way through Saturday. Thank you for your time today, everybody. I hope this helps you understand what is coming around a corner. Remember, it's going to be two storms. This is potentially going to upgrade on our first one. And the second one, we still got away from National Weather Service. I think there'll be something Thursday and possibly Friday out of that second system also. So make sure you click the bell if you did subscribe. That way you do get the updates. I don't upload on Saturdays unless there's lives at risk. And this isn't starting until next week. So I will upload again on Sunday. Not trying to push my religion on anybody. That's just my beliefs. And it is going to be Sabbath. And you're not supposed to work on Sabbath if you care about what God thinks. But before you go today, special message for you. Romans 13, 11 through 14. And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, and let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envying. But put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ, and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. Amen. Have a great weekend, everybody. I will see you on Sunday morning. I appreciate every single one of y'all. And remember, all glory always goes to God, our Father in heaven, Yahweh. 
And I always hope he helps you, keeps you peace in your home, keeps love in your home and your family as well. That's the main thing. It's not money or any of that materialistic stuff. It's peace and love in your home. That's the main things you should be striving for. All glory goes to Yahweh, now and forever. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Have a great weekend, everybody.